morning from Cashel. A bit of a dark grey Cashel. Um, it is 8.35 on a Monday morning. And I'm on my way to Balting Glass in County Wicklow. Now the reason I'm on my way to Balting Glass, County Wicklow, is that after registering probably about a year ago, I'm finally doing my first nimber task. What is nimber, so might ask? If any of you are familiar with the videos of Bjorn Nieland in uh, Norway, it's Tesla. Um, one of the things he likes to do is long ass road trips, as he calls them, um, <laughs> doing nimber tasks. Nimber is basically a social um, delivery service. If people are driving a certain route and somebody wants to have something picked up and dropped off along that route, you may as well do it and get a bit of money for it. Now, if you're driving an electric car and you do not have any fuel costs, which is the current situation here in Ireland, one of the things you can also do then is pick up certain things and drop out certain things and get paid for it and actually make a bit of money. Now, sadly, Nimber isn't very popular here in Ireland. Um, it's very popular for Norway, where Bjorn lives. Um, I think he did something like 25, 30 Nimber tasks in one journey, which is just ridiculous. I'm only doing one. And what I'm doing is I'm going to Balton Glass County Wicklow to pick up two chickens. I know, random, isn't it? Two chickens. And the two chickens are going to be delivered to a gentleman in uh, Ballyshannon down in County Cork. Now, I'm not going to drive all the way back to Ballyshannon. I am going to meet a gentleman in Cork City. Basically because um, I don't want to be driving all the way to Ballyshannon after driving all the way up to Wicklow. But that's okay. Uh, yeah, so at the moment we're in Cashel. Uh, my next stop is going to be Junction 3. It's my usual sort of up north trip. Um, from there we're going to go cross country uh, through Tullow and then into Balting Glass. At least that's what I think. I might actually consult my sat-nav to confirm that. Um, but at the moment we're in Cashel. Weather-wise, what can I say? It is 8 degrees drizzly. It's meant to actually get showery with hail, so weather is not exactly ideal. But anyway, that's okay. I'm dry and I'm warm. Uh, so what I'm going to do right now is do a bathroom break and probably a quick coffee in McDonald's. 17 minutes later we are on our way to Junction 3. One of the other reasons I actually am looking forward to going through Junction 3 is to have another look at the Tesla superchargers. Uh, today is the 24th of April and apparently on Wednesday they're due to be opened. Um, I think it'll be, it's the official unveiling of the very first supercharger in Ireland. Which will be great, of course. It's good to see uh, Tesla infrastructure finally reaching our fair shores. Um, but in the meantime, I still have to drive for half an hour, so <laughs> let's focus on that first. And there we have it. Eight superchargers. I do believe this is the uh, first multi-fast charger site in Ireland. Yeah, I, I, I have said it before about Tesla's and the fishery drives. So I've just moved a bit further back. It's a nice Hyundai Ionic charging. So there are the superchargers, eight of them. Um, there's four chargers at the back and it gives you eight stalls. Lots of ESB vans around. I'd imagine it'd be one of the larger hookups they've done in a long, long time. I mean, each of them will give you, what is it, like 120 kilowatt, some crazy, crazy amount of power. Anyway, we are finished charging. I was at 99% when I disconnected. I um, met Simon, the owner of the Ionic, and uh, so that delayed me a little bit. I'm always a sucker for talking to new car owners. Now, the Ionic, I do like the car. It's very low down, though. Um, it's a very, uh, like headroom wise, I don't think you've got an awful lot of space in it. Uh, looks wise, I like it. I 
don't really like the white with the grey uh, front. It looks better in black. I think white and black are the only two colours I've seen in Ireland at the moment. But of course, any electric car is a good car. Now, uh, Bolton Glass, next stop. Um, I'm going to go cross country. It's only about 60 some kilometres, so I should be able to go Bolton Glass, then back to here in one go. Uh, without hopefully without too much effort I might do a quick stop at a 22 kilowatt along the way so I'll uh, I'll catch up with you guys once I've collected my chickens now I since I've never been to Baltic glass I basically put the, the, the route into the R-Link and I picked the eco route just for fun I'm not disappointed um, <laughs> It's, as usual, uh, very much so rural. Um, it doesn't seem to actually want to pick any main roads. I'm on a, a small little side road, but it is beautiful. It's the fun thing if you do driving around Ireland. Go by the sat now if you never know what you might find. Beautiful views. It's a shame the weather is not as uh, nice as uh, what I was hoping for. Okay. So I actually had a check about my route because like the road is up there you go. Um, the, <laughs> the route is quite rural is a good description. It's going through the freaking countryside. So I had a look through the actual routes and um, if I can if I actually just just if I you know what I'll do, I'll just pull over here. Just pull over here and I'll show you guys the actual route as well as road it's taking me on. Okay, let me just unclip you guys here. Alright. So Balting Glass City Centre, here I am. You see this lovely big circle here, that is the main road. Instead it's forcing me to go straight through the countryside because it's faster. Faster perhaps. Not nicer. Have a look at this. Now, I've bumped into three tractors already. There's absolutely no way I can actually uh, pass them out. So I actually I actually love this about the sat-nav. Um, <laughs> it is completely impractical around Ireland every once in a while. But you do get to see some scenic routes and some lovely countryside, you know. Ooh, sheep. Now I'm on the N78 now, I put in a different route because I was tired of the cross country stuff. I'm actually on the N78, which was one of the roads I crossed um, on the other route. Just goes to show that, like, you know, the satnav, uh, according to the satnav arrival time, it's two minutes slower. Now, those two minutes are a hell of a lot more comfortable on a nice 100 km an hour road like this. Anyway, I did ask for the fastest and it is actually faster. Look at it. Isn't that much better? Sounds like there's chickens in my car. And rain. Predominantly rain. But there's chickens in my boot. Right, um, anyway, time to drive home. Um, I'm going to take a slightly different route this time. I think we'll go via Kilkenny Charge up there a bit. Yeah, you can definitely hear them now. I hope that they'll be okay, because they'll be in the boot there for about two or three hours. Um, anyway, um, hopefully I'll be okay. Anyway, we're going to travel via Kilkenny, probably. I have to yet work out the full details, but we're probably going to go via Kilkenny. Got 60 kilometers left on my range, or about 50%. So that should be okay. I could go back the exact same way, but that just didn't suit me. And I have to go further south anyway, so I may as well go down via Kilkenny. After some deliberation, I've decided to go back to Junction 3. Um, I've got about 57 kilometers left and 53 kilometers on my range, so that should be okay. There's a few 22 kilowatt chargers along the way, so it shouldn't be short. Um, it's the easiest way for me to get back to the, motor, the correct motorway and then make my way back down to Cork. I think it's time to give somebody a ring to say that I have collected their chicken.
15 kilometers estimate range, 11 kilometers to junction 3, that should be okay, but it is going to be a wee bit tight, so I really hope it works. It did earlier. 1.7 kilometers or about a mile left to my destination, and you can hear the wonderful beep of a low, very low battery warning, so I'm down to a less than 8%. Oh, it just went. My range estimate, and what you may also see behind me is that I'm currently being followed by a lovely Nissan Leaf, more than likely going to the exact same charge point. It's a good thing then that he doesn't have to wait for me to charge. Hmm, there's a plug missing, and it is in. Yeah, I think. Obviously, it's a Tesla employee working on this, uh, probably inside for their lunch break. So let's see if I can find the owner of the Tesla and see if I can convince him to unplug. So down to the last 5%. Um, I'm waiting for the store manager to actually move the car. He has the key. Oh, I think he's coming right there. Cool. Hopefully, I'll be on my way soon. Now we are charging. It's close to 1 o'clock. Not too bad. Um, I'm gonna go um, relax for a little bit. Uh, um, the next stop, I suppose, will be Cashel. You know, I've never actually driven from Cashel all the way down to Cork City. That'll be interesting. Um, I believe it's mostly downhill. I'm meeting the actual owner of the chickens. Who I actually, actually, you know, I'll, check, I'll, I'll show it to you. You know. Actually, I won't be able to show you the chickens because they're in the cardboard box. But there you go. Might be able to peek in. Uh, hopefully they won't. Uh, here we go. Chickens. Poor chickens. Anyway, um, at least they're getting a ride in an electric car. It's a privilege, really. <laughs> um, no, they're not for, uh, for for further sale or for slaughter or things like that. These are actually going to be... Um, I think the owner has a free range chicken farm where he has um, free range eggs so these chickens are going to be um, apparently the eggs of those chickens can be sold for about a euro a piece if they're fertilized not that I know anything about it anyway um, break time so and we'll move on so after about 19 minutes I am back on the road now the Tesla owner actually isn't the Tesla owner um, he's just got the car on loan at the moment probably a tester car I would imagine for the chargers they're putting in he seemed to be quite happy with it uh, as in you know, the things that they're installing he was uh, that's going to be something else apparently well of course it's going to be something else it's going to be a uh, after 80 meters, uh, turn left, are for... Um, I know where I'm going, shut up. Um, basically it's going to be 8 superchargers. So uh, that's going to be uh, something else. The one thing I didn't like though is that um, he um, he didn't even move the car when I had it unplugged. So he obviously didn't really care too much about turn left. sharing the actual charger. Shut this set knife up so I can actually talk. After 100 meters, shut shut go up. left on the shut, roundabout. Shut after 100 meters, after, after. Shut up. Right, now, what I was going to say is that, um, yeah, so he was charging his P, it wasn't a P90, a 90D, so a 90 kilowatt hour battery. And it actually amazes me that it actually was only charging at 11 kilowatt. So that means he actually only has a single AC charger. And um, that would mean that if he had kept his car there, and I'm going to assume that it's going to be there for the rest of the day, that uh, he'll be probably what, eight or nine hours. Bit inconsiderate for him not to actually even move the car, but you know, I uh, 
I guess certain people exist. Now, um, in the meantime, we are going back on the road, as you may have heard my sat nav complaining. Um, got one more charge in Cashel, as usual, and from there on I'm just going to drive on to Cork City, where I'm hoping to be arriving at around quarter past three, so in about two hours' time. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's going to be uh, fun, and then I'm going to hand over our little chicks on the boot. They seem to be happy out. Now, they are in a cardboard box, as you saw. Um, no water, so I do hope they're going to be okay. But uh, the owner said that they will be, so I just have to trust them. Uh, other than that, pretty uneventful. This was the first time I actually got blocked at a fast charger in a long, long time. Definitely the first time I got blocked by a Tesla. Um, thankfully, he was on a, he was able to unplug this, you know, down to the last, uh, what was it, five percent. So yeah. Right. Um, I think McDonald's at Cashel sounds pretty tempting to me at this point in time. So when I get there, I shall. In Cashel, you can hear the back fan starting up. Charge resumed. Uh, next to a uh, Mitsubishi Outlander plug-in hybrid, who isn't charging, I might add. So probably already finished. I imagine so. Uh -huh. Oh, getting tired now. Right. What did I say before? Oh yes, McDonald's lunchtime. So 31 minutes and we are at 97% so that should get me down to the River Lee and uh, then charge over at the South Mall after dropping the chickens off or getting them collected and um, we can uh, move on. South Mall. Um, I just checked the actual app and I think both the, the, the charger, both of the spots are taken, so that's a bit inconvenient. Hopefully by the time I'm there it might change, but this is Cork City Centre, it's very, 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 very busy. Um, the I sent the seller a glimpse link so he should know where I am, which is good makes it a little easier rather than sending messages back and forth going are you there yet um so after i've dropped the chickens off i'll need a charge whether it'll be the south mile or not and then head on to home i've got probably about 20 percent left so i'll get a good bit out of Cork city if i need to i might go to blarney which is a charge are more likely to be empty uh, towards the direction of Mallow. But we'll see. Let's get rid of the chickens first. Okay, well that was easy. Um, the actual um, owner of the chickens was uh, actually ended up packing right behind me, which was great. So, them are some happy chickens. I've marked the item off as delivered, so we'll just have to wait and see now with regards to uh, payment and all that. Um, just to confirm I most definitely did not do this for the money it was purely for the fun um, and I must say I had some fun it was a lovely day a lovely drive and uh, yeah now I back into the, 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 the mode of charging and trying to get home I just had a quick look at the app for ESB as I said now apparently the one in Blarney is removed they're removing charges left right and center I don't understand this it's a perfectly good working charger so I really really don't understand um, but I'm gonna have to um, uh, investigate to see whether or not this is true um, just won't do it today um, yeah so my next options are stay within Cork City but I'm not too fond of that idea I might see if I can get out to City Hall. 
though that is more than likely also taken by staff from, well, City Hall. Um, you shouldn't really be doing this, kids, while driving. Now, according to the app, there's still one available, so I'm going to chance that because it's just at the end of this road. Hopefully, I'll get a charge. Alright, here we go. 19% charging at City Hall. Uh, that's pretty good going, actually. Um, it was about 100k, I'd say. Uh, well, mostly because I'd say the last 25, 30 kilometers was pretty much downhill. Uh, right, so now the question is, what do I do with the next 10 to 15 minutes? Now, there is a hotel across the way, and if I'm not mistaken, it has a Tesla destination charge, which I might check out. Um, apparently, most sites have these installed, and they're not just Tesla. Um, I, apparently, if, if they're installed with, I think it's a, a sign that says Tesla only, then they're... Is lonely. Um, if not, they're actually AC and they're either 7 or 22 kilowatt, depending on how it's installed and what supply it's hooked up to. Uh, might be worthwhile because um, I wouldn't mind actually going to that hotel sometime. They do lovely afternoon tea. Now, in saying that, I can use this charger, but this charger is more than likely going to be taken up. Um, I'm parked right next to a lovely Nissan Leaf. Can't see from here whether or not it's charging or not. But that's more than likely one of the council workers uh, who works in the county hall. So, um, I've marked the delivery as complete. So I think now the idea is that I get paid from the um, person I delivered it to uh, as soon as they uh, they do that. And uh, I, I think that's, that's, that's all with regards to the nimber task. Um, my own task is not quite finished yet because I'm not home. Um, I'm probably going to need about 30 to 40 percent to get home, so I'll need 10-15 minutes. So I'll go over, and I might actually have a coffee if, even if I can't find a Tesla destination charge. Wow, I was right. So there's three of them. So we have Tesla, Tesla. And one says electric vehicles, so that obviously, as you can tell by the loose hanging type 2 plug, has been used. The other one hasn't. Right, let's do the right thing, or at least stick it back in this holder. I wonder if it actually says, let's see now, what does it say? 32 amp. See, it's either 3. It's either three phase or single phase, so they're either gonna be oh jazzes. Apologies guys. Thank you for turning the light on automatic switches. So they're either going to be uh seven kilowatt or twenty-two kilowatt. Now I've got about forty-five percent in about I'd say how long did it take me? 10, 15 minutes? And the curiosity got the better of me, so I'm on my way now to actually try out one of those destination chargers. So we are at 45%, it says 1 hour and 45 remaining, so I would say that's the 7 kilowatt point. Now, interestingly enough, as soon as I stuck the port in the car to check charging post and I got the red ZD logo. It then went blue and it seemed to have started again. So I have a feeling that when this one ends it just doesn't close the protocol off properly or whatever because this the, if I, I if I removed the actual plug it wouldn't restart but if I just left it in there it actually just charged. I love the graph on the front. See a little green thing with the energy going in. Absolutely brilliant. Right, well that's enough fun. <laughs> I, I, yeah, the curiosity got the better of me. I had to know, number one, would it work? Uh, number two, how, um, you know, how uh, fast are these chargers? Now, apparently there's lots of test des destination chargers around the place, so it's always good to know. Um, now, 
I'm going to assume that there's usually two. Uh, from what I've seen, that's usually the case. Now, I can understand that there might be locations where they only put one in, um, in which case it's more than likely going to be a Tesla only um, charger, although I don't think it would be for the interest of the hotel to only allow Teslas to charge. Any um I've, I've had enough fun, as I said, so I'm going to go home. That light fits me, here we go. Light, yay. Uh, so okay, um, as usual, I'll uh, put up a, um, a grand total of this journey up um, after the, at the end of this. Um, so basically, just um, my consumption details and all that kind of jazz. And um, I'll uh, leave it for this episode. Uh, so yeah, basically, this was another weird and. Well, I wouldn't say wonderful, but uh, it's, it's another weird episode of me delivering chickens. The things you do when you have an electric car, no real fuel cost, and I guess nothing better to do, which is a lie I do with something better to do with something less fun, which I try and postpone as much as possible. So, um, I'll leave it uh, for this episode. So, uh, as usual, um, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Um, unlike other um, uh, video makers, my uh, videos obviously aren't in professional quality. I will not start doing things like Patreon or anything like that just because I'm just doing this for fun. And even if I had an income coming from Patreon, I wouldn't have the time to do any additional videos. So there's no point. Um, so yes, um, anyway, thank you very much, like, subscribe, share, and if you have any suggestions for videos, I'll try and accommodate it, but my time is limited, and um, my energy's <laughs> energy supply as well. So what have I coming up this summer? Uh, considering it's, you know, the third, first quarter of 2017 is over, um, I will be coming to three years worth of ownership in October. Um, now, that obviously means a new battery lease. At the moment, I am hopelessly over my battery lease total for the three years. Um, I think my it's supposed to be 52,500, and I'm currently at 67,000, so that's a little over. Um, so I am going to have to change that. Um, I'll mention that in, 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 in some video, some stage. Mm, other things I've got planned in about four weeks time I'm going to be flying over to the UK to do a charity trip with uh, none other than Craig I'm not even going to try and pronounce his surname Tong probably um, I must ask him when I meet him I've never met him um, but the two of us are going to drive to in uh, is it Salzburg 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 in Germany or Austria Jesus Salzburg in Austria uh, so that's uh, from his house in Coventry. So that's the UK, France, Germany, and a little bit of Austria. That's going to be fun. Uh, for charity. So that's going to be a mad, mad drive again. Uh, through the night. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, just the two of us. Never met before. First thing we're going to do when we, after we meet is go on a nice long journey. What could go wrong? Uh, other things I have already planned another holiday to Holland with the car and um, this time we're going to be going through the UK again so it'll be uh, but with a little bit of a difference I am going to be driving um, more than likely but, um, I'll have to make sure my wife is okay with it first um, I'm more than likely going to drive um, Mallow to Harwich on the east coast of England in one day which will be close to a thousand kilometers so that'll be interesting uh, then on to Holland, which will be pretty, you know, uneventful because Holland is just awesome when it comes to the charging your store. And uh, so my three years will be up. I'll uh, the car will have to get a service at some stage between now and uh, the end of next month um, because it's about seven months overdue now. The second service. For those of you who've been wondering where my second service uh, video was, there isn't any because it hasn't been serviced. Um, if you had a normal car, you'd be thinking about, you know, engine stalling and oil filters and all that kind of stuff. With this particular car, the only thing I really have to worry about is my tire rotation. My tires are fine. 
um, air conditioning filter, air conditioning is fine. Um, but my main reason for wanting to get the car serviced is that I there is a battery management system bug that apparently is affecting uh, older cars pre-2015 which it might and it is affecting them in such an extent that it's going to give you false low uh, battery readings now false low battery health readings I should say state of health now last I checked it and I haven't checked it in a while it was hovering around the 82 mark which is a bit low if you ask me for a three-year-old car um, so I'm hoping that once they implement the fix that they have and reset the battery management system that I will magically gain 10-15% state of health so that will be a 10-15% jump in charge and if I can already do 120 kilometers comfortably on my 82% state of health that would mean I can do 140 comfortably when I get 10-15% extra battery as well as a whole heap of other, I think the actual guessometer, the, the predictive range is a lot more accurate um, after the update is applied, etc, etc. I have a feeling that most of the software comes from the new um, ZT40, which you saw in the previous episode. Um, I have a feeling that Renault are trying to unify all the software to make sure that the cars are all running the same software. Um, which makes sense from a management perspective. Now, of course, that kind of means that customers um, bring their cars in for the regular service, which this guy isn't. So, anyway, uh, that's I thought that was going to be the end of the thing, and in the meantime, I've been yabbering on for another seven minutes. Um, so, okay, I'm going to definitely, definitely leave it at this um, this time. So, yes, again, thank you for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye now.